Were you more encouraged or discouraged by that Lakers win? Well, first off, they got a bad break, the Lakers, when Denver lost to San Antonio because because of that, they got nailed with this two-seed thing. And you can't expect any team to lose a game. In actuality, they would be better. Let's be honest, as a sports fan, they would be better playing OKC than the Nuggets. There's no other way around it. And if you say they lose last night, they get the home game Sunday against Sacramento, Friday against Sacramento, a game they would have won. Then they get OKC. That's a, that's a better match. Let's be fair. That's a better matchup for them. From, from a sports fan's perspective, they got a rule. It would be a better matchup for any team in the league, not playing Denver. That's exactly. Especially for the Lakers, who, who haven't beaten them, got swept last year. I am more wrapped up right now on the Pelicans. You're right. Lakers, were, I'll let these yeah. guys handle that. How about the Pelicans? They can't beat the Lakers. They got a double-digit lead at the first quarter. They got Williamson playing great. Ingram's second game. They're at home. Huge game. And then they get blown out. Because they got blown out. They had a good fourth quarter. But they were down 18 in the second half. How about New Orleans show some guts once in a while and beat the Lakers in a big spot? And now they're in a death game here on Friday against Sacramento. So I'm more down on them. But if anybody thinks, Stephen A., if anybody thinks that somehow, some way, because the Lakers figured out a way to beat the New Orleans Pelicans, that they are now going to beat the Denver Nuggets or challenge the Denver Nuggets, that ain't happening. Maybe they'll win a game. I expect maybe not a sweep. Anthony Davis says, hey, we're ready to go. We're embarrassed by last year. Nonsense. Because now it's Jokic, Murray, home court, mile high. See you later, alligator. Denver will win that series easy. What you said about the Los Angeles Lakers, let me tell you where I'm going to crystallize your point, doggy. You waving bye-bye to them. A lot of people are waving bye-bye to them because they get ready to go up against the reigning defending NBA champions. That shouldn't be the case. Um, Anthony Davis is an all-world player. LeBron James has played all-world. Austin Reeves has been thriving. D'Angelo Russell has been thriving. Rui Hachimura, excuse me, this brother can play. You got Gabe Vincent back into the lineup. You've got some pieces that you can throw in there to spell for these dudes for minutes. The Lakers, from a personnel perspective, is universally recognized as Denver being its kryptonite, but somebody capable of beating anybody else. Well, if you're capable of beating anybody else, why the hell can't you compete with the reigning defending champions? They waxed your ass eight straight. What you going to do about it? Anthony Davis opened training camp. Am I lying, Wendy? Opened training camp and said, yo, we want them. We heard them chirping about us. They beat us and they swept us and they talked smack to us. They came at us. That's why I asked the question going in to that game last night. You going to avoid them or do you want them? Because it was my way of reminding America. You remember what that brother said? You said you wanted them. You said they were chirping. You said they were talking smack. Now, doggy, you've been around for a long time, Hall of Fame, and you've seen people that perceive to be the better team. But they talked a little bit too much, and they galvanized the opposition, and they elevated the level of adrenaline and ultimately fervor that was coming their way. That's what I want to see for the Lakers. What you going to do? We going to get swept again? Do I got to get broomsticks when ABC shows up to the Crypto.com arena a week from Saturday night? Is that going to be with broomsticks because y'all down 3-0? You lost eight straight. I mean, I, can, can I go over a list? Li Let me tell you the last three times that the Los Angeles Lakers lost to the Denver Nuggets. Not only did you get swept in the Western Conference. Check this out, Doggy and Wendy. Wendy knows this. Regular season, opening night. Championship rings, they floss it right in front of you. Bad enough you got beat and swept, but then the schedule put you in Denver for opening night so you could watch them get their rings. All Jokic did was drop a triple-double. Ruin that night. What happened the second time they played against the early February? Put Nuggets played spoiler. What happened? They beat them that night. The unveiling of the Kobe Bryant statue. Remember that? They, they lost to Denver that night. They love they, doing it. They, they lost to Denver that night. And then last but not least, Jokic 35, Porter 25, Murray 24, combined for 84 points, right? What was that night, doggy? The night LeBron James dropped 40,000 points for his career. They have ruined 
every single moment for the Los Angeles Lakers over the last year and a half. Well, what you going to do? I'm going to be there, Wendy. I'm going to be there. All right, Lord willing, I'm going to be there right in that arena because I want to see what the hell you're going to do. You're going to get your ass kicked again or you're going to show up. Last time I checked, LeBron, AD, D. Russ, Reeves, Hachimura and these boys are fully capable of doing it. I understand Denver's the favorite, but I don't want no damn excuses. You go out there and you fight. This should be a seven-game series from a talent perspective. Don't get beat down again. That's what I'm looking for. Best player on the court is not LeBron. Jokic. Okay. Murray, I'll tell you right now, forget LeBron. I'll take Murray over Anthony Davis. Murray can shoot. He plays the tremendous two-on-two -two thing with Jokic. I love Murray. You, and D'Angelo Russell is very up and down. Reeves is a nice player. Doug, but D'Angelo Russell year? is very up and down. And they have enough resources from the Gordons, the Porters, to do enough. I, listen, I'll, give the, I'll be nice. I'll give the Lakers a game. I'll give them a game. They are not winning this series. Fun. The one thing that happened last year when the Nuggets were a little vulnerable and it was small in the playoffs was when Jokic was just a scorer. When he had those games where he put up over 40 and it wasn't Aaron Gordon getting those back cut dunks and it wasn't Murray playing the pick and roll. So the Lakers game plan, they've got days now to think about it and figure it out. Also, I know that it would be better for the Laker fans and more enjoyable if this was a conference final series, but in the conference finals, you play every day. In this series, there's some more time off, which LeBron and AD are going to need. So let's see what their game plan is and see if there's anything that they can do to try to make Jokic just a score. I doubt that you're going to solve him, but let's see what their game plan is. And let's see if the rest, because LeBron was gassed last night. If that would have been the second play-in game and it was just 24 hours rest before the start of the series, I would feel bad. But with three days, big difference. They're going to have a good chance, and their goal is simple. It's what every team's goal is going up against the favorite. Go to Denver and get one. <laughs> get one is hard. You haven't beat them in a year and a half. Go to Denver and get one uh, and see what happens from there. You got four days rest before the series even starts to address the back spasm, all right, and the fatigue, right? on Anthony Davis and LeBron James. You got that going on, right? You just highlighted because of that and the fact that once the series starts, you don't have to play every day like you would be if you were in the conference finals. You brought that up to the mix. So I'm looking at all of those things on top of the stuff that I already told you about how they've been beat down by Denver eight straight. You ain't beat them since December of 2022. This is, the, this is the last time you beat them. I mean, all the incentive in the world, plus no pressure. The only pressure that the Lakers have on them is don't get swept. That's it. Nothing else. You can't do that. You can't make sure you live up to that. We're going to find out. Anthony Davis said they were chirping. They were talking junk. He said that the summer was long because they were talking so much smack, and he wanted to get at them. And then on top of it all, he shows up on the court and plays 76 games and plays all world. Yeah, this is what it's about. This is basketball. We going to see what the Lakers are made of because there's no excuses to at least make this a series. You lose seven, six, seven games to Denver, there's no yep. shame in that. There is no excuse not to make this a series. He That's what I'm like saying. He sounds like Bill Belichick before the Patriots played the Rams when they were a big underdog. Steve, why don't you go into the Laker locker room on Saturday and give a little pep talk? Take it easy. He's giving him the pep need talk to. right now. I don't need to. They're watching. They're watching. Trust don't me. Don't be so sure. The, oh, trust me. Sure. Trust the, me. The pep talk They don't happen. miss first take, baby. Don't let them fool you. Don't Denver let them six, fool you. Denver is, six, Denver is 16 and 4 in the playoffs last year with six road wins. See ya. Stephen A. Just They're not the same series. team on, on the road this year. All right. You should be able to – you should make this a series. You should make this – don't make me come to the Crypto.com arena with a broomstick next Saturday. There's no <laughs> excuse for that. We know AD no wants excuse. to make it a series.